Cancer, hi, welcome to my channel, Beyond the Moon. I am doing a peek at your person. Love tarot reading. All right, so Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross watch, but don't force anything to fit, okay? It is a general reading. Uh, and Cancer, stick around till the end. I'm gonna pull some zodiac signs, numbers, letters, initials for names. Uh, so stick around till the end. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and if you'd like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. All right, Cancer, I'm going to start off with your overall energy and then get into your person's overall energy, okay? And then we'll get into what's going on with them, see what's up. All right, so you're starting off, Cancer, with Observer, mes Message in a Bottle, and Truth Be Told. So you could be just kind of like hanging back, observing a situation, hoping some kind of truth or a message comes in to give you some kind of clarity. Um, 14, 15, I feel like you're waiting for things to kind of take like forward movement here, but you are, you're just, you're just observing a situation and just hoping that some kind of message or truth comes in. Uh, let's see, what's your person's overall energy? They have to the sea. So I feel like things have been choppy waters and they really want to kind of smooth things out or just go into um, a calmer place, all right? Uh, they also have not for you and poised. They could be moving on from this cancer, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of what I'm seeing here. It's either that or they're moving away from somebody else and you're kind of waiting for them to come towards you. Because I do have poised here, all right? So it's kind of like trying to move away from something that's no longer for me so I can feel good about this decision that I'm making and you're kind of over here just like waiting. So we'll get into it. could go either way. You could either be waiting for this person to come back or this person is leaving a situation to come towards you but let's get into it and see what's going on current situation for cancer and their person ten of cups in reverse nine of pentacles in reverse someone all right ace of pentacles page of wands all right i feel like this person is in a situation and they're not happy they're not single. They're not happy. They're they're probably feeling stuck in something. Um, they want some kind of stable new beginning, though, Cancer. And Page of Wands, I feel like, yeah, this is where this is going. I feel like they feel a spark with you, Cancer. And not where they're currently at. I feel like you make them feel good, free. Like you put them on a pedestal, make them feel good about themselves. This is taking time though. I feel like you're waiting. You're just waiting for this person. And I'm not saying that like you're just sitting around waiting, but you're waiting for them. You're waiting to hear from them some kind of a message or phone call or some something some kind of truth all right what else for cancer and their person current situation what's going on look it wanted to come out three of wands waiting waiting for some kind of stable new beginning I feel like there is a spark here, some kind of chemistry. You're drawn to each other. Four of Wands. Okay. Give me one more. Give me one more to clarify the Four of Wands. The Magician. Okay. All right. There you are. <laughs> Queen of Cups. Ah. Three of Cups. Did this person put you in a third party situation, Cancer, or is there, there's a third party thing going on here, whichever way you look at it. Um, it's, it's weighing heavy. It's creating some kind of a burden. I feel like you waiting for this person and them, I'm not saying they're taking their time, it's just taking 
but they're keeping you waiting. They're keeping you stuck. They put you in a third party. They have, they have like a marriage, house, home, children, something. <coughs> Excuse me. There's definitely something like that going on here where they're in another commitment or connection. For some of you, and this is a side note that I'm picking up, it may not be all of you, you could actually be married to this person and they stepped out and they could be moving towards a third party, but that's not for everyone. Take it how it resonates, you guys. All right, let's see. What's blocking this connection? I mean, it could be. Let's see where it goes. What's blocking this connection for cancer? Blockages, blockages for cancer on that person. Seven of Wands, something is not being protected. This Two of Cups and Page of Pentacles. You two, the two of you could be a soul mate contract or energy and you just feel drawn or pulled towards each other somebody is stuck somebody is stuck like their hands are tied they're not happy they're not happy you may not be happy either six of cups in reverse so there could be children somewhere in the mix you know maybe somebody doesn't want to leave a situation because of kids or um if you have children together for the some of you where this is you're in the connection with this person you know it's like you don't want to separate because of kids or something like that that's also childhood uh youthful nostalgia nostalgic things like that known each other from the past what else is blocking this this is blocking this. Five of Cups in reverse and Knight of Wands in reverse. Sagittarius energy. <sighs> if you're questioning this person, Cancer, they're, they, I don't feel like their intention is to be a player. I don't feel like they're trying to play you. But they're trying to avoid making either a wrong decision or causing sadness, loss, regret, remorse here. It's like they're trying to avoid that. Hmm. Let's see. How does this person truly feel about you? How does this person truly feel about cancer? How does this person truly feel about you? Don't forget, you guys, the energies can be flip-flopped and reversed, all right? So I could be saying your person, but it could be your energy, all right? So Four of Pentacles kind of came out in the challenge position, all right? So they could feel like you're still holding on, but maybe holding on loosely, you know? Um, you may not be holding on to the... The hope of this coming together as much all right knight of pentacles virgo energy so they feel like things are moving very slow the hangs man that is pisces energy Ooh, they yeah uh, so they feel like you may have gotten the truth about something instead of waiting for the truth you may have gotten the truth and it's changing your perspective on things this is how they feel about you, though, okay? And keep in mind, it's not always the truth, but it's their truth. It's how they see you, feel about you, their perspective, okay? All right, what else? What else? How do they feel about cancer? King of Pentacles. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We got a lot of earth uh, energy coming out for you. So they feel cancer. They feel like you are very grounded, stable, methodical. You know, you don't make quick decisions. You're, you're very 
grounded. You may actually have strong earth placements, like an earth moon rising, or even, even Venus. It's like they see you as very just grounded, confident, and stable, which is good. You're not wearing your emotions on your sleeve. You're not freaking out on them. You're not, you're holding it together. Strength, yeah, see, Leo energy. They see you being very confident, courageous, strong, independent. You may have been their strength through this, and that's why when toys came out, you really do make them feel like their best, best selves. You know, you bring out that good side in them or that good feeling. All right, let's see. Then we have the wheel, eight of cups walking away, and then the fool, Aries energy. They think you're moving on, Cancer. They think you're moving on. You're like, you're not waiting anymore. What's this fool? Where's Cancer going? Where are you taking that? Oh, I just saw 11, 11, you guys, on the, on the clock. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, Six of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Pisces energy, Queen of Cups, that's you, Cancer energy, Judgment, Scorpionic energy, and Four of Cups. Ooh. They think you're walking away, Cancer, and going back to someone from your past and reconciling and ignoring them. Yeah, now they're starting to feel like you've turned away from this. Maybe because you shut down that emotion, you shut down that loving, caring, nurturing, Cancerian energy when it came to them and you got yourself grounded You're, you're handling whatever the situation is, Cancer. I got to say it. You're handling it well, at least from their perspective. Behind closed doors, maybe you're screaming, crying, kicking, eating ice cream, drinking, whatever. <laughs> Watching them like crazy on social media, whatever. But you're not letting them see that if you are, okay? Um you're kind of giving them like a cold shoulder. Like, well, you don't want to, you don't want to do this, then time's up. Time's up. I've given you enough time. You had your chance. You had your opportunity. I'm walking away. No regrets. That's kind of the impression you're giving them, which isn't bad. It's not bad. Because now it might change things. But we'll see. Let's see. What's the outcome? What's the potential outcome for cancer? Keep in mind, you both have free will, so it could change. But this is where the energy is going. All right. Potential outcome. The hanged man again. Pisces energy. Change in perspective. Change in clarity. Queen of Swords. Libra. Gemini, Aquarius, the Hierophant, Eight of Cups, you're walking away, Cancer. Ooh, hold on. Commitment. If they're in a commitment, you pulling your energy back may have, like, changed their perspective on this. And now it's like, oh, I'm going to lose Cancer. I don't want to lose Cancer. I got to walk away. To balance things out. Six of Pentacles just fell on the floor. To balance things out. And then the star in reverse. Aquarius energy. Why is that in reverse? Three of Wands. Five of Pentacles in reverse. And the Magician in reverse. Oh, my, my, have the tables turned. Cancer, I feel like now you're going to keep this person waiting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I feel like now they're going to come towards you and you're just going to kind of be like, mm, I don't know. I need some time. I need some time to think about this. I need to go over my options. Well played, Cancer. Well played. Oh. I'm not saying playing games is good. I'm just saying, like, taste of their own medicine. Yeah, look, then there's going to be a transformation here. This will come together, you guys. I do feel like it will come together. Um, you're giving them a taste of their own medicine. I don't think they like it too much, but Scorpionic Energy with the Death card, transformation and ending for a new beginning, and Soulmate Energy. So I do see this coming um, together. They have to walk away. It, I feel like it's them, but place it where you see fit. It could be both of you, okay? You could both be in a connection with someone else. Who knows? It's a general reading. Um, so place it where you see fit, but someone's walking away, possibly from a, an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. doesn't have to be. I'm going to pull zodiac signs in a minute. Um, but yeah, I, I see this coming together. Free will, though. All right, biggest obstacles you're going to have to overcome in this connection. The burden, yep. Whatever this big burden is that you or them or both are carrying with a third-party situation, that's, that's the burden here. Too many people involved. All right, what else? Biggest obstacle for cancer in this connection. Laziness. Yeah, someone's being lazy. Someone needs to make a move here. Change and transformation. So the transformation is going to come. It is going to happen. There will be a change, okay? But to get to that point, this burden needs to be put down. So those are your obstacles here. All right, let's see. Anything else for cancer in love? I don't know why I'm saying. <laughs> don't know. Surrender, detach, trust, free fall, have faith, all will be well. I feel like that's what you're doing. You're just surrendering to this. You can't control it. You can't force it. You're just kind of going with the flow. Healing, self-care, time out, be gentle with yourself and your twin. I don't know if you already saw this card at the bottom, but ask yourself a yes or no question. Ready for the answer? It's yes. All right. The answer to your question is yes. All right, let's see. What else? What else? For cancer. What else do we have? Spirit for cancer. I feel you, even though we are apart. It's time for me to heal now. Mm -hmm. Healing. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. I knew exactly what I was doing. The timing just wasn't right for us. Yeah, see? This is all falling into place here. Wow. Okay. Can I get it? Maybe a time frame. Maybe a time frame here for cancer. All right, let's see. Full moon in Aries, cool your emotions. Last quarter moon in Aquarius, reflect on your priorities. Okay. We just had full moon in Sag. So then it goes Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries. So something could happen in four-ish months here. I don't want to say it's that long. I mean... You're all on different time frames, timelines, you know, so it could be sooner. Something could have happened recently in Aries season, which was April, March, April. New moon in Cancer, relax. Okay, so... In your season, new moon in Scorpio, go deeper, and first quarter, quarter moon in Scorpio, release your blocks. Okay, so yeah, there, there's releasing that needs to happen, healing that needs to happen, relax. So something could happen around your birthday, Cancer. 
Something could be happening around your birthday. All right, let's see. Let's pull some letters. Could be first name, middle name, last name, initials. Could spell a name. Could just mean something to you, okay? Could be theirs, yours, whatever. All right, I have C, G, D, M, H, O, S, B, A, Y, X. So C, G, D, M, H, O, S, B, A, Y, X. All right, let's get some numbers. Numbers could be a birthday, first date, first time you met, could be an anniversary, could be um, angel numbers, could be years, months, days, whatever. Take it how it resonates, okay? All right, we have, wow, you guys, cancer, it never fails. It never, ever fails. Look at this, 11, 11, 11, three 11s and then a 10. So look up angel number 1111. <laughs> Something could happen in November or on the 11th of any month, the 10th of any month or October. Um, I'm seeing 10, 10, 10, 10, 2. Look up angel number 10, 10. There, there's got to be a message. You guys always get... Didn't I say I see 11, 11 on the clock? Didn't I say that earlier in your reading? An 11, 11, 11 came out. Crazy. That's new beginnings, manifestations, a new start. Guides are with you. You're, you're manifesting right now. So be careful how you think and what you say to yourself, okay? It might just come true. <laughs> careful what you wish for. All right, signs you could be dealing with or it could happen in that season. So like cancer season, airy season. Um, this could be placements. All right, so we have Pisces, Virgo, Aquarius, and Gemini. Pisces, Virgo, Aquarius, Gemini. Could be any sign, you guys. All right, um, but take it how it resonates. That is what I have for you, Cancer. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and if you'd like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. And until next time, love and light. Take care.